Hello, world. Frida Reba Darcy and Patricia O'Connor here. And yeah, we're not through tearing it up. Uh, today we've been pretty productive. I think a squirrel. Maybe I think that was a squirrel. Did you see a squirrel leap off that wisteria? See that maybe in playback. Anyway, we have been busy today. As you can see, this is where this is where our, our latest Ponderosa stays. Uh, I have an area there to put it on the rail if I choose to. Uh, I haven't had the best of luck with Ponderosas hanging out over that rail. They do, the last one didn't like the Western sun was an observation that I'd made. We have been hauling substrate in and out. We've been building racks. We've been, uh, we haven't gotten around to our cleaning. We've made a load to the dumpster, but we haven't broke out the, uh, haven't broke out the broom and the uh, pan and the vacuum. And we have all of that in front of us. But this is kind of a quick, look and a quick uh again that's our ponderosa that's the angle i selected that is what i think right now as i'm looking at it what i think the front looks good at that changed a couple of times but i think i like that at the front um so today i built this rock hauled stuff out of here took the stainless steel table out of here donated it to uh, to the same dumpster that I got half of my furnishings from and and uh, started rearranging the trees. And I think everything looks pretty good. Tonight, we're gonna visit this guy. So I'll go on more about it later. Uh, this is an addition. Uh, since last time we were out here on the balcony, there's 10, 12 more trees. One. Uh, pondo over there is two. And those 10 pondos makes 12. These are the guys. They're uh, really healthy looking, really happy looking. Got a lot of, got a lot of rough needles on them which is very Ponderosa-like, but they also have a lot of, uh, but they also have a lot of vigorous green growth and they were uh, pushing little roots out of their plugs already. And uh, last night I potted these puppies, potted these puppies all up and they are, they look like they're anxious to get rolling. So we're gonna see, and I looked these up on the internet by, um, by their subspecies. So these are, uh, in theory, what I ordered and what I got, hopefully, is uh, Ponderosa Pine Scopulorum. And uh, these are also. And uh, I got a nice letter um, in, an, in an exchange that I was doing. The guy I got this tree from, the guy I got this tree from, and the gentleman that I got that tree from were all the same guy and gentleman. And uh, all of these three trees came from uh, South Dakota, uh, Deadwood. And uh, <clears throat> in an exchange of information back and forth, he wanted to know when the trees arrived safely. And I gave him that little email. And then uh, I asked, uh, any tips you want to give me on ponderosas? You know, I'm learning about ponderosas. Anything, anything as an old ponderosa guy, you know, that you want to throw off on old Pat, feel free. And he was very helpful. He just kind of gave me his rundown of how he did that, where he came from. And I'm going to pass some of that along. Um, here's what's weird. Where he lives in Deadwood, South Dakota. And this is what I found interesting, not necessarily weird, because it's it's a way of life for uh, for everything that lives up there. But the higher elevation trees up there in Deadwood, South Dakota. And he described how they're a little bit different from the ones in Wyoming and a little bit different from the ones in Colorado. So uh, I found that all, I found that all. And then the caveat to that was, he said they're dormant. 
eight months a year. The ponderosas there where they live or dormant eight months a year and then four months a year they have a um, harsh growing environment. So it's like yucky and then uh, we take a nap. And that explains a lot. That explains why those guys grow so slow because they're dormant most of the year and the rest of the year when they wake up, they're probably getting blazed by um, high elevation ultraviolet light and uh, heat. So anyway, that's all fascinating to me. I thought I would, when I had an opportunity to pass that along, I would pass that along. And I like the space. We, it doesn't really look like I added, um, it doesn't look like I added any space to this balcony by bringing in, by bringing in this shelf, but I haven't begun to use it all. And this balcony has 12 more trees on it than the last time we were out here. And so, yeah, we've definitely, we've definitely improved our setup a little. Uh, look at all the tops on this Japanese black pine. This is a cork bark black pine. I can't wait to, uh, I can't, I can hardly wait for tonight's show. A little glimpse of that guy. I, I did a little glimpse of it earlier. There's some other things that I'm really excited about. When I was moving things around to this afternoon and tonight, look at that. Look how tiny those needles are. The first time I bent this tree, I wasn't, I wasn't that happy. This one is one of our little trees that got a redo. And uh, I was pretty happy with it after the redo. And now look at those needles. That is so awesome. Thank you, little tree. That is so cool. Where is it tangled? Where is it? It is there. There it is. That's our guy. I just think that's so cool. So, okay. We've been doing a lot of, uh, We've done a couple of fairly long, a couple of fairly long uh, videos lately. But last night we dropped a short one and then we did another short one the other day. And then I kind of try to be a little less brutal with some of these, uh, unless we're doing a lot of heavy work or something. We're just gonna try to keep them. We're gonna try to keep them getting. Yeah, this is a short look at the work we did today. I thought about bringing that in. I thought about moving that over there next next to the goddess and then uh, moving the vacuum cleaner uh, Higgins uh, underneath that little table. And then that would be another little display area for plants and stuff, uh, but they get no light in there. So that's, that's one thing that goes against that. Anyway, that's our layout. That's We've got a little bit of straightening to do and we might still, uh, jockey some of this stuff around. We've already done that a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, you know, some of it, I may turn right around and look at it and go, oh, good grief, why did I do that instead of, you know, but aside from that, I think this is kind of, I think this is kind of what we got going. We have room to grow. Also, uh, uh, even though we increased our load by 12 trees, We've reduced our load by two trees in the past couple of weeks and soon to be three. Those three were, I gave away uh, my bougainvillea and uh, something else. Oh, I gave away, I gave away, I'm about to give away this wisteria. So that's just keeping, you know, freeing up more room for other things. I still have, I still have this wisteria. This is my first tree, so we won't be doing anything with that. But yeah, we reduced our sales by two. That's what it was. We reduced our sales by two, but we turned around and we increased our sales by 12. Uh, almost in the same, 
almost in the same breath. So, oh yeah, here's a little quick look at our Dawn Redwood. Why not while we're here? Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. We're going to do another drop this very evening. This very evening, I will be dragging in um, to the place uh, a tree I have uh, tentatively named uh, um, Black Bark. And Black Bark is a Japanese black pine cork bark. Black pine. And uh, uh, we'll probably do a little bit of put a little bit of wiring on that guy. I don't think I'm gonna do any shoot selection right now, but I will be showing you, I might, but I'll also be showing you uh, what plans I have and what little surprises I have for that guy. But this little fusion with Steria here, uh, this is a fusion with Steria. I started it the first year when I started the other with Steria and it's more fused below the soil line, but the above the soil line, they're just starting to kind of mesh up. I'm donating that to a coworker who says her house looks like a greenhouse and I'm going to wait till you get a wisteria. She's pretty excited. She gets that Friday. So what will that do? I don't know. That's not really prime real estate. Uh, oaks, oaks seem to do well there. A lot of other things. Uh, water or uh, dry out unle evenly on the rail. So I wouldn't say that things don't do as well there. They get good light there, but also they tend to dry out unevenly and it takes me a minute to get a handle on that. Uh, I appreciate you, Frida appreciates you. And like I said, our next drop will be tonight when we do some cool things with uh, one of our Japanese black pines and um, Thank you so much for watching.